so I'm building a new crosscut sled. I recently received the Jonathan Katz Moses stop lock, which is a really good, phenomenal stop lock. So I decided why not build a new crosscut sled rather than just routing some T-Track into my old one. Because my old one, it was a little bit, it's not that accurate. I just wanted to build one that would be my final crosscut sled. So I bought some Baltic birch plywood, which I rarely ever use. I should use this stuff more often, especially now that regular plywood is so expensive but we're gonna put this stop lock to use and we're gonna build a new crosscut sled. I'm gonna start off by building the front and back fences. I'm gonna cut some plywood into strips to make the front and back fences. So while last drying, I have this piece of uh, plastic here. I don't know what it's called, but it's a really super slippery plastic. And it's not gonna expand like wood in a miter slot, so I'm gonna use this and cut some runners for the slots. That way our sled can ride up against it. the base, this piece of plywood, cut it down and make a nice surface so that we can attach the runners to. So now we're going to take these runners, stick them in the slots, and then put the piece of plywood on top of it to bond them together. I'm actually going to use one runner because I want to be able to use the other side for bevel cuts. So I'm going to take some pennies, stick it in the slot, and that way it gives me a nice riser because this is sitting below the surface a little bit, but I want it to be proud above the surface. So I'm going to take these pennies, or if you use washers or anything to make it go above the surface, put it on there so that way now it's just above the surface. Then I'm going to use some CA glue, otherwise known as super glue. This is just what woodworkers usually call it. And we're just going to put a couple of dots of glue on the runner. I don't know how well CA glue sticks to slippery plastic like this. I think this is nylon. I'm not sure. I could be wrong. Might be UHMW. It's plastic, that's all I know. Now I'm going to take the sled itself and just stick it right to the plywood. Stick it to the CA glue, making sure it's flush with my fence. And now we wait for about a minute.
First time cutting aluminum. All right. Went a little slow just to be on the safe side, but there we go. Now this is the somewhat stressful part, is installing the back fence, because it has to be perfectly square with the blade. The goal is to get it almost there, and then we could use the five cut method, or whatever method you want, to square it up. So I'm just going to use some clamps and get it approximately 90 degrees. Since I squared this up to my fence, the base earlier, and I know that this piece is square, I could probably square it up to the edge of this. Not quite sure though, might need to do a little bit of fine adjustment. Drive in a couple, drive in two screws, one at this end, one at that end. And then we can use one as a pivot and then the other one to line it up. So now I'm going to test if it's square. I'm going to use the five cut method to see if it's square. And if not, then we can always adjust it using, using some, some measurement. So once I've calculated the measurement for, that I need to move the fence, I have a feeler gauge right here set to close enough what I need. 0.004 inches. Stick this in here and then I'll clamp it down. Remove my feeler gauge. Then undo the screw from underneath. Just like that. And now this fence can pivot again. I butt it up against that stop and then I'll screw it in with a different screw hole. You don't want to use the same screw hole. Countersink it so that way the screw is flush. And then put the screw in the new screw hole. Okay. 
and then we'll try again. Another five cut method. Double check the mat, see if it's square. If it is, then this crosscut sled is almost done. So now I'm going to make an extension wing, and I want to give credit to Tamar over at 3x3 Custom. She did an extension wing on her crosscut sled, and I got inspired by that to do my own. Because an extension wing is really nice to have when you've got long pieces that won't fit on the chop saw, and that's when an extension wing is good to have on a crosscut sled. So I'm going to be making one of those just out of small balls of plywood. There we have it, it's done. What would I change about it? I'm going to add some threaded inserts into the extension wing just to make it a little easier so that way. Also the screw holes won't wear out over time. Threaded inserts with the bolts are much stronger and will last longer. But this extension wing is really nice and helps support long pieces, which works really well. 
Right now I've just got some quarter, uh, some one and a quarter screws going inside. This can easily be taken off. It's got T-track on it just to extend the stop block further if I wanted to. But this is sweet. If I want to use it as an old crosscut sled, I can. It works pretty well. And I'm really happy with this, the way this turned out. It glides super smoothly. I can set it to this side and tilt the blade 45 degrees, or I can put the dado stack into the table saw and cut dados on this side as well if I wanted to. But overall, I'm really happy with this. It's dead accurate, super smooth. It's got the best stop walk on the market, and I'm quite happy with it. Tools work a lot better when they have electricity on them.